Ladies and gorals and bowls and smorls. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. We are going to uh, Grixis Cube today. We got a Vampiric Tutor in the pack. So that's pretty cool. This pack has a lot of mythics in it. You're like, mythic, 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 mythic. And then it's like rare, 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 and then uncommon, 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 uncommon. So, like, it's in rare order, but then this Metalworker is right at the front. <clears throat> Did you see the Black White Smallpox deck that I was talking about at the SCG Open? It reminded me of you doing that deck every couple months from Automa. Yeah, I definitely did a bunch of Smallpox decks. Um, that's funny that you mentioned that, actually. Um, Vampire Tutors just seems super strong. I tried the Impossible Whopper yesterday. It's like 85% as good as a Robo is pretty good. 85% is pretty high, dude. From a Meat Eater, I, I think that's a pretty that's a pretty good uh, that's a pretty good percentage, man. I'm glad to hear it. I've been loving them. I've had like five, I think, which is the most trips to Burger King I've taken in like 15 years. I think we're just taking a Vampiric Tutor. It's nice and safe. It doesn't commit us to multiple colors. <coughs> I think him to Torok is also a, a fine gentleman. Hmm. I do like Karanos, but it puts us in the exact opposite colors of a Vampiric Tutor. I wonder if there's like a black red like like aggro deck where you can slavering nulls and then kill other things and make them discard a bunch like a black red discard deck is I guess what I'm saying wow oh so but, okay so here's the thing the price and the wait time knocks 5% off that's pretty good though because that doesn't really represent the quality of the food you know what I mean so that's that's even better I have no idea what to take here we're not going to be storming. I don't think we want Staff of Nin, even though I am a huge fan of Staff of Nin. Uh, I think Karanos is really strong. I'm going to take the Karanos. I'm going to take Nicol Bolas Ravager. All of these really strong Grixis cards make me happy. Shut up and take my money. <clears throat> One Twitch plays Magic Step, the fives plus three point two one two Rob Bucks plus you missed my. <laughs> Danny, thank you so much for the sub, buddy. Really appreciate it. Thank you so much for the donation. Really appreciate it. Um, all right, we'll do a Twitch Plays Magic coming up. Hope you guys are ready for it. Well, if you're not, it's too bad. You guys are going to be picking cards. Danny, thank you so much, buddy. You are awesome. <laughs> There's a Daze and a Force Spike in the same pack. That's kind of funny to me. Why is that funny? Well, you see... I'm far too hung up. Yeah, that that might be better though. Huh? 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 Uh, no, it's probably not. I think it might just be days. Maybe we just daze some dudes. Could be charter course actually. Why is candelabra good? I mean, because the card right next to it, literally. <clears throat> like it's basically because you get to untap. Like, if you tap five lands for ten mana, you can use five of the mana to untap your five lands and make ten more mana. Oh, we could Imperial Seal for Vampiric Tutor. I'm just going to take Charter Course. Oh, Inferno Tutor. And by Tutor, I mean Titan. I don't even know what an Inferno Tutor is. Anyway, we're taking Inferno Titan for sure. High Tide? Was there a High Tide even in that pack? When I'm not drafting Storm, I have High Tide Blinders on for sure. Ancient Tomb is great. Let's let's be clear about something. Ancient Tomb is fantastic, but the problem is, um, this only has one color, so any land would be better than Ancient Tomb. This has one color, so any land is better than Ancient Tomb. This is a, a one black spell, so I'm not sure how many cards we're actually gonna have. Scalding Tarn. Oh, I'm in for Scalding Tarn. Oh, High Tide is another. Yeah, High Tide is another reason uh, that Candelabra is good, right? Like, all your islands make twice as much. Anything that doubles your mana is basically with Candelabra, and there's quite a few things in the cube that do that. Yeah, I like Dak Faden a lot, but I'm going to take Scalding Tarn. Oh, uh, we can get a Sunken Hollow with a Scalding Tarn, and that's that's big game for me. Uh, Chupacabra seems good. Angrass Rampage is also not terrible. I'm going to take Big Chups. It's just too versatile. He's just too versatile. Um, I actually like the ready a lot, surprisingly. It doesn't matter if you have any artifacts in your deck, because... Oh, if this was an instant, I'd be on board, but as a sorcerer, I'm just not really... I'm not feeling it, you know? 
What if we just take this guy and, and try to do that thing I, I said we were going to do? I don't think it's any one of these. All creatures lose indestructible. If Karanos is a creature, our devastation can kill it. I'll take the slavering mills. Whatever, we'll try it out. We'll see if it, we'll see if it does anything. Let's just be a Grixis value deck. I think light up the stage is decent. Mm, is it better than Graven Cairns? No, I'll take the Graven Cairns. Plague Crafter. Could just be Volrath Strongholds. Volrath Strongholds in a three color deck is kind of. I'm a little suspect of it. <clears throat> uh, Terminate's fantastic, but I think I'd actually rather have the artifact removal. And the land removal. We could have had braids there. It's a sin to tell a lie. Okay, what do we got here? Kess? Dragon Skull Summit. Compulsive Research. This pack's not too exciting. I don't really want Strip Miner a three color deck. Relax and Sam, thank you so much for the, for the resub, Sam. I really appreciate it. You are awesome, my dude. <clears throat> um, I like Dragon Skull Summit. Cascade, there's a ton of fun build arounds in this format. Like, I've really been enjoying this cube. Compulsive Research just seems great, though. I want to take the Compulsive. The problem is we have no... Uh, we have these two as far as cards. Uh, I feel like it's always just Cruel Ultimatum when you're, when you're running the Grixis deck, right? I, I can't I, I can't not take a cruel ultimatum when we're when it's on color. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Just happening. We're just gonna we're just gonna bone up on our fixing and make sure we can we can cast this bad boy. Grave Titan? Oh, Underground Sea. Oh, Lord. <clears throat> pernicious Dude, what's going on, my dude? My Pernicious Dude. Have you done a multicolor step yet? I don't think so. <laughs> Grave Titan? I think we're just taking the Underground Sea, guys. Underground Sea, too good. Underground Sea is what's known as OP. Doom Whisper is fascinating. Liliana seems fantastic. I probably just want to take the Liliana. Yeah, Liliana is a nice, a nice little planeswalker. Steam vents? When we got a Scalding Tarn already? People, I feel like people undervalue these lands. It's crazy. I get like Underground Seas and Steam Vents and Scalding Tarns really, really at, at unreasonable points. I like a Drowned Catacomb too. I'm okay with taking all of these lands. I'm okay with taking all of these lands. None of these cards are really... Like, Future Sight's great, but I really want to avoid triple blue cards in this three-color deck. Uh, this is just a Grixis cube, correct? Thought Knots here. I love a Thought Knots here, but I don't like that we have zero lands that can cast a Thought Knots here. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to avoid it. I think it's just a Languish or Ruinous Path. We could be a languish deck, but the thing is we're trying to have 
a couple more creatures. Like, we could have a bunch of Thredi. We could have Slavery Nulls, Plague Crafter, Nicol Bolas. I think I'll just take Ruinous Path. It's not as good as Hero's Downfall, but the Awaken is not nothing, so. It's a sin to tell a lie. <clears throat> Nicobolus Dragon God and Liliana in the same pack? That ain't right. That ain't right. I had the idea this morning of doing an Omniscience Draft Cube. That's interesting. Tell me more. Tell me more, pernicious dude. <clears throat> I think it's Nicobolus. I just want to have mono Nicobolus's. This is just a Nicobolus cube. Kess actually <clears throat> isn't... I mean, like... It's just a 3-4 flyer for 4, right? I'm just going to take the Kess. Electrolyze. Oh, Wretched Confluence. I'm a big Wretched Confluence fan. It's better than Electrolyze, though. That's the question. I think, I think Electrolyze is probably better. It's easier to cast, and Retro Confluence is 5, and it's mostly just draw 3 a lot of the time. Silumgar's Command? I do like a Silumgar's Command, not gonna lie about that. I hope I can get like 2 Talismans or Signets in the next pack. Our deck looks sweet so far. We have a lot of play. A lot of interaction and things. Oh. Oh, sweet. That was from uh, the one that messed up you guys remember that where I was with the chain lightning and I chained lightning and they were like nope I would add one mana to the to the pool and then it would just disappear these players are free omniscience and the queue would be built to support that a lot of weird combo stuff cantrips okay that's actually pretty sweet though that kind of sounds like type 4 have you heard of type 4 into the slaughter Chobani has really sound yogurt. Nut butters on the bottom, and I had vanilla yogurt cashew butter. That sounds pretty alright, actually. Yog moth. <clears throat> Yoggles, McMothles. It was always Jitte. Mm, I don't know if we have enough creatures for a Jitte, but I do love a Jitte. No, I've not built a Salt IQ, but mostly I don't have the, I don't have the time. I don't know who has the time. Who has the time? <clears throat> Snapcaster could be good. We already have Kess, though, and we don't actually have that many. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, we don't have that many instants or sorceries. Also, Batter Skull is a creature. So it's like, it's like eight creatures. I actually don't know what the pick is here. It could just be Snapcaster. Snapcaster's just good. I mean... I don't think it's Shivan Reef. I'm not. I'm not a huge uh, Is It Charm fan. Stupid Jawa, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Welcome back. Really appreciate you. Fifty-five months is insane. We'll just go Snapcaster. Echo. Worm Coil's good. I don't know if you want a six drop, though. I don't care about Spire Bluff Canal. God, I really wish I had, like... Firemind Vessel actually could be very, very good. I mean, especially with Cruel Ultimatum in the deck. <clears throat> we go from four... On turn four, we play this on turn five with Cruel Ultimatum. I don't actually hate that. I mean, if I was going to take non Firemind, it would be Worm Coil or Ugin. I think Ugin is very strong, being able to destroy any uh, any colored permanent. Because a lot of time that's that's hard to do in Grixis if they have an enchantment or an artifact. I do like Firemind Vessel a lot. Hmm. Like it's just so good at fixing. I'm just gonna try the Firemind Vessel. <clears throat> it's gotta be in here for a reason. 
And I can't think of a better reason than Crawl Ultimatum. Oh, Rakdos Signet? That's probably what we want. I really love God Eternal Kefnet, though. This card is so strong. Like, even if you don't hit anything, it's strong. Dr Draughton from Dreams is also very, very good. I think we just want more two drops. We have, like, nothing to do on turn two, though, unfortunately. I think we're fine with, like, expensive win conditions. Watery Grave. Now we have Underground Sea, Sunken Hollow, and Drowned Catacomb. And Watery Grave. That would be pretty ridiculous. But I think it's probably still a pick. Dreadboar could be good. I mean, we already have Ruinous Path uh, for Planeswalkers. We also have Silumgar's Command for Planeswalkers. Is Brawl still a thing? I haven't heard about Brawl in ages. This is a Grim Monolith. Wow, that's a late Grim Monolith, dude. I didn't even recognize the art. I was like, I don't know what this is. It's probably just a mana, a mana rock. And it is. Grim Monolith just seems bad in our deck, though. Like, the only things that you're getting full advantage of the three is, like, Karanos, Silumgar, Inferno. That's pretty much it. <laughs> and the two artifacts, I guess. I don't know. I think I'd just rather have the Water Grave. Blood Crypt? Oh, God. Crumbling Necropolis? Oh, uh, I haven't gotten any response back from the pizza yet. But that was, like, Thursday, and it's it's only been, like, two days, and, like, today is a holiday, so. It's a sin to tell. Oh, Lord. I kind of like Blood Crypt because we actually have no way to get a black and a red source with the Scalding Tarn. We have Steam Vents. And Water Grave and Underground, but we don't have a Blood Crypty land yet, so I think we're just going to Blood Crypt. I want to make sure my land is perfect for uh, Cruel Ultimatum. I think we're taking Phantasmal Image here. I think it's better than Sky Diamond. There's a lot of broken cards. Ooh, Thief of Sanity. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, let's take Thief of Sanity. Thief of Sanity is really, really powerful. The uh, sort of Seal and Sinew, as we've talked about, is protection from two of the colors in this queue, which is pretty good. But the effect itself isn't that great. Meteor Golem is a little expensive. I'm just going to take Thief. I do like a Toxic Deluge. Yeah, we're just taking Toxic Deluge. Ah, oh, Jitte comes back. Now we have like 11 creatures. That's pretty good. I guess Karanos doesn't really count as a creature, so it's... It, Karanos and Batterskull kind of cancel each other out in terms of creatures. I'm still taking the Jitte. I'm probably not going to be playing Is It Charm, so... Um, I like Gifted Aetherborn against the more aggressive decks. I think it's fine. <clears throat> Kefnet came back? Wow. Probably find a spot for Kefnet. <laughs> Image also isn't a creature for Jitte. That's a very good point. Dreadbore is actually a card I was hoping I would have. Have you played with any new command? No, because I haven't actually... I'm not a, I'm not a big commander player. I'm actually going to take the Batter Skull out. You have to make two cuts. I kind of want to try the Slavering Nulls and just see if we can... It's nice because we have Blood Crypt, Sunken and Hollow, Water Grave, and Underground Sea as uh, swamps. I knew that kind of, yeah. No, but it, so the thing is I do like the Commander products because they have a lot of good cards for cubes. Like, it's super fun to look through the Commander products and be like, ooh, which cards would be sweet to cast in cube? You know what I mean? Oh, wow. Crumbling Necropolis as a... That's insane. People know that, that ca that's like every color of the key. Where do they Plague Crafter out? Stoke the Flames? Sure. Stoke the Flames is a, is a burn spell, I guess. It's a sin. Do -do. What's our Snapcaster hitting? It's better now with Dreadbore. Yeah, that's a decent amount of things. Last pick, Reality Smasher. Tch, disrespectful. Seven targets for Snapcaster. That's actually not terrible. Okay, one more cut, huh? <clears throat> I am driving 85 Kind of morning I 
this all afternoon Stuck inside the green Alright, let's see what we got here Blue sources, one, two, our mail looks fantastic One, two, three, four, five, six, seven This is ten blue sources I think blue is the highest represented color Black we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven Ten, eleven Red, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, that seems great. 10, 11, 7. You also don't want too many mountains or islands because you don't want to end up drawing too many for your cruel ultimatum. So. It is basically a hate crime. I have a I have a soft spot for Reality Smasher. Wow, this this hand would actually be very good with the second land, but uh, it doesn't have that, so we're def definitely going to keep this guy instead. Um, I think Swamp is just the weakest card here, right? I mean, we can play both of these and get the uh, the Steam Vents, and then we just have three uh, fantastic lands. Fantasta lands, if you will. Can you do a stip where you can only use forest and plains over that? That would probably be pretty hard, because especially because you can't cast like the Eldrazi, right? You can't cast um, Thought Not Seers or Reality Smashers. So you'd just be like, well, I can only use... I mean, it's basically just your, your mono artifacts. It's just, it, you're just doing a, an artifacts st stipulation, right? Manifold key. There's some broken stuff gonna happen. Gonna be happening here. I'm actually just gonna get underground sea here. <clears throat> it's important to remember where you come from. That's true. Never forget your roots. Oh, we're just going to nickel bolus here, right? This all afternoon. I have a uh, John Mayer's. Is it Y, George, or Y? <clears throat> I think it is. Oh, you can play any land you draft. You just have to add forests and plains. That shouldn't be too hard, actually. Because as you can see, even this draft, we got like 10 fixing lands. Oh, drawn from dreams, huh? Alright, let's... Let's get compulsive. Ooh, let's say a land. Get rid of an island. Play this guy. And we'll just bop you for four. One, two, three, four lands. Okay. Firemind Vessel should be able to cast lots of things, I guess. <clears throat> lots of things. If it isn't the Frank Lepore, I've heard it's a Wallado. What's going on, my dude? I would love to kill this. This is a Manic Vandal sideboard situation for sure. Hmm. Well, that's a dude. We could just Compulsive again. I don't know if that's great, though. I'd rather just do things. How much? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. They have nine mana. Eight mana, I guess. That's scary. I guess I just want to make sure I'm prepared for all, all eventualities. So they're gonna have. Oh god, are you gonna counter this? Oh, oh, no, they have way more mana than I thought they. Uh, artifact, right? Okay, so. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it is nine. I was correct. 
Nine total blue manas. Your favorite and mine. Guess we're down to four mana. Must be nice. I mean, I think we still win this race. Wow, we were one mana shy of just casting that dude. I'm tempted to just Dreadbore Phantasmal Image. It actually seems pretty good. So we're going to add Thank you! PC Vogel, thank you so much for the reso. I missed our three months anniversary, but I assume these celebratory messages add up so I can make my message twice as long for our fourth anniversary, and I'll need the space because I have a lot to share. Like yesterday, I did. <laughs> oh, man. You got it. Charge that relic. If you want to get rid of all my lands, I accept. So now they can actually they could untap this and just kill it, but then they lose their last island. So, okay. I mean, we're not in great shape here, but Nicobolus has been doing some serious work. So. Too many good cards is right. There's definitely a, a high concentration of good cards in this cube. Wasteland. Joke's on you. I don't have any mana. And by mana, I mean lands. Dang it. Dang it. I felt, I felt victim to my own pet peeve. He called them the lands mana. Okay. It kind of had to do that. There's no way around that. I will choose your island. You got four mana? Any land, and we can just recast Nicobolus. So. Probably gonna board out a phantasmal image for something like uh, Manic Vandal. Sure. True name nemesis? Sure. I'm at 19 and it does not fly. Deal. I 
I mean, we're not going to not play this because they have Wasteland. If they want to use their Wasteland, totally fine. So right now they have four, five, six, seven mana? Four, eight mana if they want to untap with... Um, no, they want to use the Wasteland, rather, for, for destructive purposes rather than productive purposes. Are they, are they gonna find the answer at the exact turn they need it? <laughs> of course they are. <sighs> yep. Seems good. Actually, I have no way to deal with that. I feel like now we're way far behind. They literally had to just fucking have Meteor Golem, so that's unfortunate. Yep. Oh, no attack. I like it. Hmm. Well, that's great if we can hit a land. Unfortunately, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of them are in the graveyard. So ten out of like less than fifty percent of our deck is lands now. So we have less than a coin flip to hill land. <laughs> sure. I mean, if we can hit a land, we can phantasmal image, uh, snapcaster mage, the precursor golem. Of course, it enters the battlefield tapped. Yep, 15. Fantastic. And even if we block one, it's uh, still 14 damage with the Guardian. That's amazing. Absolutely fucking incredible. That's just mind blowing to me. Impressively mind blowing. Take out the Phantasmal image. Take out. Electrolyze. We'll bring in Manic Vandal, Molten Rain. I like Toxic Deluge to deal with their guy, but I don't know if it's really necessary. I think this is actually fine. Yeah, this is fine. We'll keep this. That was a frustrating game. gonna play anything so might as well just get the sunken hollow out there when you adjust the coloration of your camera what settings do you adjust white saturation white balancer uh it's it's usually saturation um but i mean you can play around with them and figure out what works best for you like sometimes it's got to be brightness sometimes it's uh so we're gonna go to five and then we're yeah this is What's your opinion on this cube? Actually, I've been enjoying this cube quite a bit. Quite a bit. Um, well. Thank you. Billy, what's going on? I did the thing so I can watch you do the thing. What's going on, buddy? I have not seen you in a while. You have been missed, my friend. Um, I'm just going to say a land here. I know it's greedy, but we still have multiple plays with a land. We have Charter Course, Snapcaster, Liliana. Any land lets us play these three cards and I think that's fine especially since we're kind of due to hit a land so did not did not hit a land Wow, that comes in already? That's so fast. Are there clearly defined archetypes or just... Oh, uh, yeah, there's definitely archetypes. I mean, there's like... 
I don't know all of them. I know there's Storm. There's like a Sacrifice deck. Um, back to the Mullen right now. Prepping to move to Edinburgh for five days. I, I had a feeling, yeah, I had a feeling a lot of it was like uh, school-related stuff because that's insane. Like there's so much traveling between like, um, I would assume Washington, India, and Scotland. Ireland? God, I'm getting Ireland and Scotland confused and I feel sh so terrible about it right now. It's gotta be Scotland, right? Edinburgh, Scotland. That's the Scotland, right? Or is it Ireland? Oh my god, no. I'm totally forgetting. Okay, so Lotus... Lotus Bloom to play Grand Architect. You have one, two, three, four? Sure. I knew it was Scotland. I was just second guessing myself because I'm like, but wait, what if it's not? You know, it's, I don't know. I think it was a situation of where like the grievance of being wrong was so high that I was like, oh God, no, I don't want to be wrong here. Uh, I have a, yeah, I have a degree in English and, and with a focus on creative writing. Okay, okay, I like it. I like it. Um, I'm gonna do it on this guy because if they want to shoot us, they have to pay the piper. What does that mean? I don't know. I'm just gonna play Nicholas Brolis here again. Could have played God Eternal Kefnet, but. I know that because I've been watching your content forever. <laughs> Just toasty. Appreciate it, buddy. Appreciate it. When you when when did you fail the top eight geography class? Uh it was a while ago. It was a while ago. Hey man, the world's a big place. The world is a sizable place. Oh man, these lands, I'm so... I could not be more thrilled for these lands. We're gonna just add a counter to this guy, right? Let's do the deed. The Nickel Bolus deed. So we just need one mana for this, this Inferno Titan. We share a birthday too? Oh man, this is too much. We could Molten Rain and chart a course. I don't know what that does though. I think I'd rather just play Kefnet here and assume that it's a good, it's a good, good. How much mana can they make? They can make a lot, right? One, two, three, four, five. So they can make add two counters to this guy, which is fine. I mean, you get to kill this, but then it dies, I guess. Oh, you can add. Get seven mana instead, of, or eight, nine mana instead. That's actually a lot. So three, five, six. Am I, am I miscounting? I don't know what's going on. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. So I, I didn't miscount. I was correct. They just, they just did it really, did it really weird in a weird way. I got a class of 20. Yeah, I'm basically the bottom 40th percentile or the top 40th percentile. I have no idea how percentiles work. You got it. Tempest Jin. I'm gonna kill my crumbling necropolis? Everybody's so rude. I'm gonna kill your crumbling necropolis. 
Also, apparently, Tom Vader's your math class. <laughs> hey, guys, I make no claims about uh, about subjects that I am not uh, that I'm not educated in. They were like, "Hey, can you write the words good?" And I'm like, "Yeah, I can write the words good. I can't say them good clearly." Oh god. Um, I'm pretty sure we can just kill this guy. Am I correct? So, here's the thing. I kind of want to negative this guy. Like, they can tap these two to make this a 4-4. Four, four. But then we can Liliana it. But then in response, because it's already a 4-4, they can shoot the Nicol Bolas. Right? So so what we what would happen was we go in front of Titan, deal this three, they go put a counter on it. Oh, but then if we Liliana it, they, then it dies immediately. Yeah, so let's do that. I just thought of a really good soundbite for the uh, for the soundboard, or we could just kill this guy. Is that better? That might be better. It's better. Is it better? It's the uh, some Magneto from the X Men. Oh God, this is actually a hard choice. It's one of these two. This guy automatically makes this a uh, back to a three four. However, they could, in response, tap both of these, put another counter on this guy, and then trade with Nicol Bolas, which seems bad. But I guess we do have Inferno Titan at that point. Yeah, I'm gonna take. I'm gonna try to take out a bunch of their mana here. Ballista doesn't really get out of hand if they only have four mana. See, now they lost a blocker, so we can just get in there with Kefnet. They're going to kill Nickel Bullis, which is fine because they just lose Ballista. If they want to keep Ballista on board, like, that's fine. Yep, this is what I figured they would do. Oh, we just we just win the game. They're like, okay, well, I probably can't come back from that, I guess. That was rewarding. Do you have anything else that deals with artifacts? I wish I had more creature removal. Plague Crafter might be good. All their creatures are good. Take Kess out. Oh, I'm not super impressed with Kess. I don't even think we're a Kess deck. I think it's just a 3-4 for 4 that can get us value. Yeah, we'll keep this hand. It's not super explosive, but I think it's still good. So yikes for me, dog. Uh, we definitely want to hit land next turn, so we're just going to chart a course. We did not hit a land. Let's get rid of slavering nulls. Uh, what's the best way to record just sound? The way I do it is I download the YouTube video. Wow, this is actual hot trash. Two lands in the first 12 cards. Seems good. Uh, 
Um, I download the YouTube video and then I have, I use a program called Camtasia to just export the audio from it. So, yep, this game's basically over. Shackles is cute. Thank. You should have killed me when you had the chance. But any any like if you have any editing program where you can just extract the audio, it that should work totally fine as well. Infect is a good deck. What's the uh is the format modern or is it legacy? Oh, see there, Tim, right there. Download the MP3, Google MP3 from YouTube. That's actually great. That's helpful. See, this is helpful. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Sundering Titan, Meteor Golem. Fantastic. Just fantastic. <laughs> sure. Sure. Would have been great if they didn't have this because then we can make them sacrifice this, but uh, I mean like we haven't drawn lands, so it's hard to feel <laughs> Jesus. Two cards for sure. Um I mean Nickel Balls next turn could be great. Chupacumber could be good. We'll Get rid of the Liliana. I don't want to get rid of Karanos because you can just cast it next turn, possibly. Uh, Playcrafter, probably. Alright, if we hit a, a fifth land in our top 20 cards... <laughs> I mean, realistically, in the top 18 cards, you should probably have... Not half... So a little eight, at least six lands, I would say. Four, five. They, only have, they have six mana, so they could just have Sundering Titan in hand. Sure. Alright, so what can we do? Return a permanent to its owner's hand. Could just bounce Gilded Lotus and kill the Walking Ballista. I mean, if we play Nicol Bolas, they just kill it, so... Bouncing Shackles doesn't do anything, we just get to get this guy back. Bouncing this guy does nothing, so... Can we do some Grixis Q and maybe Modern? Yeah, that sounds good. I'm in. Let's do it. I'll start right now. You got it. That should slow them down a little bit at least. Until they go Sundering Titan, kill your three lands. Sundering Titan seems pretty broken in this cube because there's so much overlap. In other words, you're always going to be able to destroy your opponent's swamp, mountain, or, or island when you need to, uh, typically. The customer service in this establishment is unparalleled. I do what I can, sir. I do what I can. Alright. That's just fine.
How do you know if you're being slower the opponent is? You check the time. Like, they have nine minutes, we have 14, so they're being a little slower than we are. Oh, boy. Seems good. I do. I also remember this one. Uh, that says... I mean, we lose Nicobolus, but it's fine. The unparalleled customer is establishment in this service. Wow. I'm going to go to the Concede as they cast Emrakul. Yep. Fantastic. <laughs> Our deck is sweet, but not that sweet, I guess. So long, 3-0 Dream. I mean, to be fair, we drew a, a sad amount of mana in those in those games. Like, it was just a matter, it was a matter of, like, just getting mana screwed so many times. I wonder if we just want 18 lands in this deck, actually. A uh, guy in the chat, Nicol Bolas does not have the ability to exile any permanent. Uh, that's the ability from Karn, because it has the, the ability of all Planeswalkers. I'm going to mulligan this one land hand, because I really don't feel like dealing... I don't even, I don't even feel like dealing with it. Keep Crowley done. Cody Ganks, what's going on, dude? Remember that time I said I read that card? <laughs> I like that that was the uh, that was the beginning of your sentence, yeah. I so I just read part of that card and uh Uh, I have not tried the Vance Solter deck, but I want to. It's on my it's on my radar and if you want to know my thoughts on modern, definitely check out my article at coolstuffinc.com. Uh, links in the chat, or you can just go to Cool Stuff Inc. and find it. And um, I go over my thoughts on the banned and restricted list. And you can use promo code Frank5 to get 5% off. And one thing that's been really popular, actually, you guys have been really responsive to it, apparently, since I've been mentioning it. If you guys don't have Twitch accounts, and you enjoy the content on YouTube, or if you enjoy the content on Twitch, and you just don't want to subscribe, like, I totally understand, um, and you want to support the channel still, you can check out patreon.com slash franklapore. I don't make a ton of content on that page, but if you want to support the stream, or Twitch, um, or, like, my Cool Stuff articles, even, uh, through Patreon, you can put, like, a dollar or two dollars a month as a patron, and, you know, still help out a ton. I really appreciate that. It means a ton, and uh, it's a great way to support the channels. Super Fritz, what's going on, my dude? No, oh, that's fine. I don't want to work. I just want to Super Fritz all day. Okay, so I'm pretty sure it'll be fine, man. I don't think, like, one week of people testing out Stoneforge Mystic means that it's a Stoneforge Mystic format. Let's not go crazy. I would love to play this, but I really don't want this guy to get out of hand, so we're not going to do that. We're just going to bonk him. Because next turn they'll have a 2-2, two, two, a 2-2, two, two, and a 1-1. One, one. We can go 2 we, and like plus whatever else they play. And if we hit a land, we can just play Karanos anyway, so...
Oh, this guy's getting reanimated for sure. Um, I guess we'll attack here. And we're probably just going to play Thief of Sanity. Uh, I mean, they're playing in Quill Leviathans and... There's no way they're hoping to cast this guy, I'm sure. So what's our best play against an Inkwell Leviathan? Probably literally nothing. Yeah, recent PTQs have been 50% Stoneforge. Yeah, I mean, that, that makes sense. Stoneforge Mystic is a brand new card. It's a very powerful card. But, like, it literally got unbanned five days ago. Like, it's not... I don't think that's indication of a format. Like, I think that's just, like, people testing it. And playing it. I mean, it's probably going to be good. But, like, the format has to adapt. You know, like... Right, literally what Tim said. It's getting tested, and it's not bad, but I think the meta will adapt. Sure. This is what I'm saying. I'm trying to adjust this mic so that it's more conducive to my situation. They 100% got a reanimate smell for this Inkwell Leviathan, so. Or they got an Inferno Titan. Also good. Where's my Chupacabra when I need it? It's dead. That's where. Good lord. Alright. Well... Demetri, what's going on? Yep, I will take a thousand damage. Thank you. Jesus crying out loud. Inferno Titan is a hell of a magic card, man. Thank you. Wow. Spiked Mike, thanks so much for the resub, buddy. Really appreciate it. Britbow, thanks so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. You Thank guys are great. Oh, what's happening right now? Oh, Spike Mike with the gifted subs. Thank you so much, dude. Oh, I guess I just get to draw another card. Thank you. Liliana does not save me. But. Thank you. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. This is not terrible. Because we get to kill, kill, kill. I think we're still dead, right? They deal us three, they attack with everything, and then they shoot us. Yeah, we're still dead. Wow. Inferno Titan literally won this game by itself. That was absolutely hot trash. Wait, what? Oh my god! Oh! I'll say what? Oh wow! Oh wow! Not dead. Oh, that was a punt. That was an unfortunate punt. No, they just didn't realize they could sacrifice these to the P and Karen LR to deal us two. Um, I'm just gonna get in front side back here. I mean, we could still be dead to literally, like, any burn spell or hasty dragon or something, so. What? How did I win this game? They literally just forgot that you could sack these artifacts to pee in your Oh, and, like, four artifacts on board in a pee. Oh, wow. That's insane. Oh, my God. Tim, are you referring to, um... Are you referring to the Milk of the Poppy shirt? Because it's friggin' hilarious. I think I even showed it off on stream. This is the this is a this is a design that Tim sent me. <laughs> oh Jesus! I actually, dude, I lost it when I saw this. I was like, this is hilarious. This is fantastic. 
Uh, hurricane alert in Florida for the West Coast is kind of like nothing. I think there'll be a ton of winds and rain. Unless the dude... Um, unless the dude makes a ridiculous course... Like a, a change in... A change in course. Manic Vandal's always coming in, apparently. So apparently it's supposed to just go right up the East Coast. All the way up to, like, Virginia. Um, so unless it changes course tremendously, I'm not super worried about it. Are they going to nuke it or what? God. You know what? We can hope, you know? This slavering null, I don't, they just don't think it's doing it. I guess this is fine, right? Travis, are you in Jacksonville? Oh, that's rough, dude. That's real rough. The funny thing is, like, like it could anything can happen within the next two or three days, like while it's on its way here. Like, all of these are just predictions. Yeah, if you guys are anywhere in the path of the hurricane, please stay safe. If you ever get a hunter on that design and get it produced, I'll buy one. <laughs> oh, I don't think I have an answer for this. I guess I can phantasmal image it and hope they don't have an answer for that. Let's get a blood crypt. Oh, I guess we could have ruined his path to it, right? <laughs> I forgot about the ruinous path. I don't even. I don't know, man. We're like chatting about a bunch of stuff, and life's happening. Yeah, we'll just block it. We have no answer for this. Says the guy with ruinous path. Local man with ruinous path in hand says has no way to, no way to deal with this. Says only player with with ruinous path in hand. Oh, interesting. Okay. See, now I'm glad he saved it. Stop bringing that guy back. God, they have Rival Master and they have... Uh, True Name doesn't take damage from Pyroclasm because you control it. Well, I would love to play Inferno Titan to deal with these guys. We can just do that next turn, I guess. I'm just gonna get rid of this guy. And then we're gonna play Fat Daddy. It's your Fat Daddy. One, two, three. Shoot him down. Got him. Did they say anything? Oh god, I can never tell. I'm so sorry if you if you said good game. I meant to say good game. Um I wonder if I take the Kess out for just another land. This feels like an 18 lander. Like we have charter course and compulsive research, and like we want to hit our lands. 
Or I can just play 41 with Manic Vandal. I like that too. <laughs> well, the GG stands for Giants and Gods, so... You know, it's basically the same thing. Oh, Flood incoming. Well, we can get this... We can get the Watery Grave out of the deck, which is better than uh, the Underground Sea in this situation, because then we get to draw the Underground Sea and not have to take damage. So, Watery Grave... Except what are we gonna do about Thief of Sanity? We don't have an answer. It's true. It's true. You gotta be careful. Thief of Sanities are no joke. Okay, that's enough lands. I only added one. Okay, I don't need you to one, two, three, four. I don't need seven lands, eight lands, three spells in the first ten cards. Oh, look at old champion of shits. That's not appropriate talk. You're telling me GG doesn't stand for get good? I've been lied to my whole... <laughs> I think it does, actually. When they say good games, you're like, get good. Look at me moderating stuff. Look at him go. Uh, do I dreadbore this? Right of Flame Jace. I don't think so. I don't think I care. I think next time we just go Karanos into... Actually, ooh, maybe we should have Phantasmaled this guy. But... I wish I was the champion. I just got second place last year. Yeah, but I think if you keep on... If you keep trying and, and you have a dream... And you keep reaching for the stars... I think you'll... I think you'll be the champion of shits one day. Oh my god. What is even happening right now? I think we're being stormed out, boys and girls. Mike was supposed to join us. He was like, hey, you streaming tomorrow? I'll come join the stream. And I was like, okay, cool. And then he just fucking never wakes up. So that's cool. I love it when my friends make plans with me and then they just don't actually do the thing that they say they're going to do. Costa, Costa. That's just me venting. I'm, I'm sorry. I don't mean to vent, but I do. I do mean to vent. Um... It's just Cruel Ultimatum. Well, it's 10 mana, so we can go Cruel Ultimatum. Nothing else, though. The podcast with Andrews is awesome. Thank you so much. Billy, I'm glad you think so, man. It's literally just nonsense. It's literally just us, like, talking about nothing. Our opponent's like, dude, it doesn't matter. I swear to you, it doesn't matter. I'm like, okay. Uh, we can pretty much play anything. I mean, you can't play it right now. What do you... I mean, you plus on him and get his card? No, they're they're for sure going to be able to... Like, they can just draw it with Mind Stone. Like... I don't know what's happening. That's my fave kind of sense. Of all the senses. N nonsense is my favorite. Okay. Plus you guys compliment each other in your thought process. Yeah, I agree. I Like, Andrew and I uh, have a great 
like dynamic. Stream vents. I'd be like, let's talk about this for a second, guys. This is ridiculous. I don't even know what's happening right now. Did we put Crawl Man him? Or did we put... Or did we put... Salamgar? Thoughtseize? Sure. This is where they tendrils us. And then we go to... And then we just kill the champion. Oh, we should have played Snapcaster. That would have been good. Then we block. Yep, that's exactly what we should have done. Because they're going to tend to us for nine and kill us with this guy. Yep, fuck my life. Okay. <laughs> oh, Lord. Lord, give me strength. Like, why was I... Why, why am I holding the Snapcaster? Like, what, what possible value could that could that offer me? Oh, but then if we cast Snapcaster, it would have actually added a storm. That's totally true. I totally forgot that. So I guess it wouldn't matter anyway. It, it actually had zero relevance. I feel better about that then. Yeah, so there's just no way around it. We're just getting tendrils. The storm deck seems way too good in this format. I was mindlessly singing the Sunny D jingle at work yesterday and the customers hear me and like, yes, it totally does. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> it really does burn your throat. Thank you. Billy with the gifted sub. Thank you so much, buddy. You are awesome. Let's go get our steam. No, we gotta have a second black source. Maybe blood crypt. We want double, yeah, Blood Crypt seems good here. The problem is we don't have a ton of disruption here. I feel like I'm still learning this cube. I feel like this deck was awesome, but it's just not... It's missing out to the broken to the to the so painful truths but you have a discard two cards. That's interesting. Oh, and we miss a land drop again. Let's research compulsively. Thank you. Villy with the other gifted subs. Thank you so much, dude. You are awesome. Let's Thank go two cards. We'll get Inferno Titan in there. And probably electrolyze. Yeah, I want to kind of buy some Sunny D2 just to be like, huh, Is the, does this burn your throat? How does it taste now? Okay. Land? We went up to, we went up to 18 lands, man. Come on. ridiculous this is just ridiculous I'll drop a dread boar play a hollow that's just ridiculous one two three four five six I don't think they're there yet nothing broken is really happening 
I wouldn't mind a Vampiric Tutor, but also Selimgar's Command is, seems good if we get to untap with it. Sure, that's fine. My opponent gave up in round two to a JIT and game three is, yeah, JIT is insane. When you want the taste of orange juice and the aftertaste of battery acid at the same time, no one wants that. <sighs> Smooth operator. I'm pretty sure we have to Vampiric Tutor here for something that can help get us out of this mess. I do like a Manic Vandal, but we can't do anything else, right? So we just Manic Vandal and then we're like, oh, that's it. So we're going to have six mana. One, two, three, four, five, six. How do you uh, set it up so you have readable chat while playing a game? Do you just play windowed? Yeah, I, would, I never played full screen. I rarely play games in full screen. Yeah, I have a, a portion of my monitor sectioned off in 1920 by 1080, and that's the that's the the area I play Magic Online in. And also, all my games are like 1920 by 1080 in a window. Um, I really have no idea what to get here. I'm pretty sure we just get Manic Vandal to kill the Chromatic Lantern. Your playlist kept me company on the long 22-hour flight back home, and I was ruined from the time. Dude, that playlist is great. I'm so glad you like it, man. I think we actually just keep Selimgar's command up, right? Like, we can just win with this Liliana. And we don't actually have to Matic Vandal anything here. And if they don't, we can just Snapcaster Electrolyze or Vampiric Tutor. Which is not great, but it's not terrible either. I'll let that resolve because their, their next play has to be Time Spiral, right? <laughs> Silumgar does look pretty creepy in his command. I agree with you. Do I care about this? Yeah, that's fine. None of your cards in the graveyard are super scary right now. Sure. That basically just paid for itself almost. Yeah, I don't think this is great for them. Because they either have to use their second blue or both of their blue for, like, drawn and painful truths. So... Um... Yeah, it's fine. 
Storm counts five now. I guess you go Tempest for six, or uh, not ten, Tendrils for six, which is what they're doing. Sure. I guess we go to five, but then we Cruel also made them most of their hand. Oh, their tendrils is gone. Uh, return counter creature. Return a non. We could have just countered that. There's nothing early to do here. We're just gonna snapcast her. Get back and electrolyze. We don't have it in us to crow. No, you need 16 mana for that. We only have 12 right now. Hmm. So what, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, four, eight, 12, we're one mana shy. Oh, that's so sad. Oh, I guess we can draw with the Cruel Ultimatum though, right? Red, red, blue, blue, black, 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 black. Um, but instead, no, we have to, we have to do two blacks. So these are the only black sources we have available. Counter a spell. Yeah, seems good. Okay. <laughs> Solomgar's command ends up doing it. That's pretty good, because they're going to lose, like, all of their hand, so. I'm a fan. All right, well. I actually don't mind Gifted Aetherborn here, just because it's a guy who ends up... Um, I'm gonna take a chupacabra. You're terrible. Um, it's a guy who just ends up gaining us like every two every two life we gain just is another trigger that they need to have. Oh, uh, keep. Knight's Whisper. That seems almost playable at this point. <sighs> Come on, Manic Vandal. That's not Manic Vandal at all. All right, one more, one more tendrils trigger. But then one less tendrils trigger. I might just actually search for Manic Vandal here.
Let's make sure we're gonna hit the right thing. It's gotta be Manic Vandal, right? FIFA seems a little slow. That's aggressive. So we do have Kroll, it's made of mana. Which is pretty nice. Sure. So they go up to eight cards here. I guess they and they played a land. So I guess they're just gonna discard. Seems fine. Someone guards command. Blood crypt also very very good. Odds of force of will are pretty high. I guess that's true. Odds of them just getting beaten down by two twos. I don't know. I mean, if they want to use two of their cards on a Cruel Ultimatum, I'm okay with it. So we need red, black, and blue. Oh wow, it worked, jeez. That's pretty good. They go to four cards. We don't get a creature back. We get to draw three. And then we go up to 29 life. That feels like 10. And they're at three? Oh, geez. So both Inferno Titan and Karanos and the creatures on board are lethal. All right. Well, I feel like they have an uphill battle here. Tendrils in the graveyard. So they probably kept... I mean, they could still do it. Yep. Red Flame, Ritual, Yawgmoth. Yep, they just have it. I don't know if it does it. They have to have a storm count of like 15. Yep, there's Yawgmoth. They might not. It might be really difficult. They only have 8 mana. Tendrils is 4, so they only have 4 mana. Oh, they don't have double black right now. I guess they could play Lantern, but that's still three mana. And that leaves them with five. Do they have Time Spiral as their last card? Was their hand like Ritual, Ritual, Time Spiral, Yog Yogmoth's Will? That'd be pretty insane. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Storm count of 14 we're looking for here. I mean, I'm going to feel real good if we... Oh, man. Cruel Ultimatum ends up killing the Storm deck. 
Seems good. Seems good. Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. You can check me out on Twitch on patreon.com slash Frank Lepore. Great way to support the channel there for $1 or $2 a month. Um, you can find me at Mana Traders. Mana Traders is an awesome subscription service. You can find the links and the promo codes below for 20% off your first three months and coolstuffinc.com. Those are all the people who make this thing possible. I will see you guys next time. You guys are awesome. I appreciate you. And uh, thanks for watching.